Trini. <laughs> just on the loop. Hi. <laughs> I'm great. Did I catch you at a bad time? No, you did not. No, you did not. <laughs> we know what we're going to do today, which is we're taking this one item that I bought because I fell in love because I've had this in another color and I love the shape and I wanted to invest in it. So this is about how can you take something and wear it eight different ways? I took this to LA and you said to me, you didn't wear it Trini and I said, yeah, I did. I didn't wear it on social media, but I did wear it. Yeah, and I was I checking. It. Yeah, because it was, but the thing is I wanted to wear it in LA because of the light and this is a skirt that loves light. So if you're in sunlight, it goes, hello. And it was very cloudy when I was there. So one day when it was sunny, I shoved it on with a t-shirt exactly like this and then I had on this was my sort of like most chilled way to wear it because people don't dress up a huge amount in LA but for mm -hmm. me I'm not going to dress how people dress in a city um I'm going to dress how I want to dress but be yeah. aware of the light of that city that's how I think about it so okay. this for me very relaxed and then doing bags perhaps that feel they have daytime fabrication like yeah. raffia and a kind of tan leather and that then is dressing it down a bit but i've got because this can look taupey in some light but it has a little re relationship with okay. it please tell us where it's from the bag the skirt oh the skirt's an Alice Temple. Oh. this is the inspiration this color is like my favorite best color yeah and so i mean i just wonder if one of the ways i'll wear it is, is as a kind of oh Yes, that could be another way. Uh, so, <laughs> so that's the thing. Do you have a secret skirt in your wardrobe and you're thinking, how can I make it all different ways? So we can do that now. Also probably do a hat and sort of half messy with a t-shirt. This is a, like a, a mango t-shirt. Okay, well, let's see some more looks. Oh, God, now I'm being challenged. So I'm going to do peer lip to cheek with Dido Ishia Shema. And I love it, so I just want to ring. So a little pink there. This is look number two and it's my old vampire's wife shirt so i love the big flow of the sleeves the nipped in waist going out again i've got my new shoes i got in la which i'm so happy i got because i don't have any closed toe high heel shoes at oh. all. and i find as my toes get more and more raggedy that closed toe is a direction i want to go in <laughs> and i like the fact also jemima that they're straight across and not pointed yeah and that's to do with the length of the skirt so i think if it's this skirt length and it resembles the concept of a wedge, it works well. But if you're doing a pointy shoe at this length, a pointy shoe I think is better when it's that length. Oh, yeah. I, I can't tell you why. I love this. I'm just thinking when I'd wear this. I mean, I would nearly wear it for a really smart daytime event. Yeah. And I didn't want to show too much skin, yes. but I still wanted to be softly feminine. So when you're putting an outfit together, do you mm. look at the colours in the skirt and think, I've got to top that colour, I've got shoes that would match? When I got this, I did think, yes, in the shop, do I have something in this colour already? Because if I had nothing in that colour, you're starting from scratch, unless you were a neutral with it, like mm -hmm. white or black. So I did think that with this. And interestingly, the blue skirt is harder to pair, pair things with because it's a very unusual blue. It is, Whereas yeah. baby pink goes with so many shades. Yeah, I want it's lovely to see that waist detail, oh, isn't I'm it? It's great. Oh, the twirls! It's like a whirling dervisher. Gorgeous. Like so I'm trying this on. Yes. Um, and I'm thinking it doesn't work. And it, I never show you it doesn't work. We just do it and then move to the next thing. But I think it's too many different ways that sequins are working and you don't know where to look. Mm. Do you see what it's I mean? Cut on camera, it's coming ac across as very different types of sequins. They're very different types, Jemima, and they're different colours, everything not working next my first ever padded top i got i like it because it's not white so i want to just go into the sort of neutral zone yes and i was thinking how do i slightly it's colder weather moment a warmish jumper and i was thinking color wise which one would work and then i wanted to have that slight layering to kind of dress it down yeah i like how we've like gone that. from a glamorous look to really casual yeah really casual is on the top is, is, uh, <laughs> and i don't actually i don't know if that would you tell and oh, oh definitely in. But in not tucked in a way that's giving me the waist. I always talk about show your waist, but if I want to more, look more casual, like this is smarter. Yeah. You know, and that just, maybe it's a half tuck in. Mm. Have we got a boot there? Oh, we've got that boot. Oh, I don't know. I think, I think maybe that. Sorry. I'm so, is that a different kind of look? Uh, yeah, I don't love the, the black. It needs to be also, white. Also, you're right, it needs to be slightly off-white. Yeah, it needs to be my Zara boots that aren't here. The, 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 the trainer. I wear trainers nearly every day, and I either wear the Russell Bromley ones, which are the white ones, which we'll actually compare, and you can see which ones are better. Okay. 
light like this, which we know will work in any circumstance. Or if we have a trainer with a bit more going on. Well, I always thought you used to wear the Russell and Bromley because it didn't have a lace. Yeah. And I'm that's... not minding this. Oh, where's the I like the lace. I like, I like the clothes. Is that your new trainer? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like them. I feel... Where are I, they from? Yeah. They're from Chloe. And I paid way too much for them because even when I was paying for them... I told you to get them in London as well. Lila said to me, Mummy, if you get them in London, they'll be less because they're European. Well, also, you want to buy them on holiday to feel like they're a holiday purchase, yeah. don't you? It's slightly autumn. I want to wear it, dress it down. It's I might even fun. think, would I wear a coat with it? Oh, oh right. I love that. So nice. Yeah, yeah. that's really nice. White is what you needed. I needed that soft silhouette. I'd probably have that there. That's Just bring lovely. It in like that. I'm getting used to seeing you in a laced trainer and... You are? Yeah, and I'm actually really enjoying it. Oh, thank you, because yeah. they are like, if either of you put them on, you'll go, butter. I'm now just going here, oh, I'm okay. now just literally showing you what colours can I wear with this. That is really nice with it, I love Lovely. that. Lovely. Then, there. I didn't realise how great it would be with yellow. I know, it's interesting how it's quite a, a yellowy gold, so yes. it's bringing out the yellowness. This is me in the office. Well, I don't want to take my coat off indoors, so I'd wear it autumn mm -hmm. or coming into spring. Just when I'm thinking, I want to bring joy. Lovely. And you've got Pierre on? I've got Pierre on, and Pierre now's working even better, I think, with the um, yeah. yellow, because the, those colours go really well together. They do. Whereas it's with fresh. the salmon colour, I should have probably put on a bit of mica, mm. just to get a bit mm -hmm. warmer. Lovely. All right, next. No, it doesn't work, you does can it? Go yellow if you want. Why doesn't, doesn't it work? work? I don't know, I just think, I don't, I mean, I don't know if it doesn't work. We could belt that with a gold belt. Oh, I like that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do like that. Let's Unless I have a thin gold belt. Should we just try Ooh, one? let's try. Let's see which is a good belt, because this is about belt time. So this is a little bit busy. Ooh. I love that, because it has the colours of the... Oh, that's yeah. Oh. Thank you. And now I'm thinking, do I want a heel? Don't mind that. No. Is it too much colour? Or would you just go for, like, a white shoe? Go shoe A. Or we go for clean gold, which... That's letter B. <laughs> That's letter B, thank you. Letter B. Oh, Lily likes them. <laughs> this is a real classic fashion style. <laughs> this is moment in LA. They actually work with a very architectural outfit. So if you have a crop black trouser there from Jill Sand, I got them for the real real for 85 bucks. All right. But I'd always found them amazing. Lila, I think, doesn't feel... I would have tied one up for a tiny ballet. But... <laughs> I like they're them. They're a cool shoe. They're okay, I mean, they're, they're really comfortable. Can I try them? And it's just about getting a new shoe for me that's not a trainer, that's flat. Um, Lila's suggesting my elf shoes. So do we do a point? This is the thing again. You know how we thought with a high heel, we wouldn't do a point. So yes. with this length skirt, because they're a flat, can we do a point? I do prefer the others, I think. Do you? I think the shine is a bit much for me. Yeah, I think also the strap and busyness. I think if I had this, without this, and I had something on underneath, yeah. it might work. And if it was a little bit higher again. Yeah, you know, for different events, it feels yeah, like. Yeah, it's very weird from, to see me in this kind of shoe, I think. Oh, I've got another look. So we, we saw that look, didn't we? Should we go on to yeah, one? Yeah, 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 let's go. Okay. I mean, just to show you, does not work. And the reasons it doesn't work, there are so many reasons this doesn't work. This isn't at the waist, this mm -hmm. isn't at the other layer. It's just like disjointed that it goes slightly A-line, and I usually wear this with a shoulder pad and with trousers, and it needs the division of a trouser. I mean, it's so frumpy. My tits look like they're at my waist. Everything is wrong. I love the colour, though. It brings out the pink Do of I the look, skirt. Do I it's your colour? <laughs> I wear this with neon, or is it killing the skirt? And I think this neon looks green. It does look green. yellow when yeah. I wear it with this, because it's too cold, and that's very warm. And this is where cold and warm doesn't work, so I need a yellower shirt. Now that's... The thing about when you're wearing tight, silky fabrics is posture is key, because tight, shiny fabrics show off bad posture more than anything else. So we've got to put it in, we've got to put my shoulders back, we've got, I've got shoulder pads underneath, tuck it in, and then, excuse me, I'm just gonna... <laughs> the thing is, I mean, these are tiny details, but if you have this, you need, it needs to be really fitted in. And sometimes a pair of magic knickers is great because when you have a pair of thongs like I do, you're going to see the hem of the top underneath the skirt. And I don't want to mm -hmm. do that. So I'm just going to really pull it down. So it's like a, a boot tube, yeah. I mean, like a body. Yeah. And that just gives a much nicer line there. Yeah, it's so sleek. Yeah. Ooh. Like that. And then probably I might just 
I'm sorry, I'm just going to lean into yellow and see if we can do that. Trini, why does this yellow work compared to the neon? Because it's really yellow, yellow. It's not verge on green. Um, oh, we can really see it yeah. now, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. So that's it. I might oh. wear this for dinner tonight. Yes. Um, just want to say, I really know how to wear the skirt now, and that's what I'd love you to do is challenge yourself this weekend to find something in your wardrobe that you adore, that's really special, and think, how can I wear it more often? Because that's what you've invested probably the most in and really get the most out of. Yeah, definitely. All right. Thank you for showing us all these Thank amazing you, ways. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Lila. <laughs> See you next week. Bye.